Can the MSI Claw replace my gaming laptop? That's what we're gonna find out today because on paper, it should absolutely be possible. Now we know that you can absolutely stream movies from the MSI Claw with a little HDMI cable because you get a little docking station. So you can always have your docking station stationed right here. You can simply just plug your USBs, Type Cs, HDMIs into it and you can put your MSI Claw on top of it. So streaming movies, Netflix, even checking some emails on your TV if you really need to, or watching We Do Tech on YouTube, that's possible. So the laptop is redundant when coming to like streaming via HDMI. Now we all know gaming on a laptop in a car is, is not, nobody does that. So it definitely takes the spot for gaming mobility. It's far better than a laptop in a car. Now when it comes to coffee shops, that's where things fall apart a little bit for the claw because you have a laptop, it's all in one, you can do your emails and whatnot, but when you want to use the claw, yeah, sure, you can reply to your emails like on the screen and you can read a few things. But if you really want to be productive, then obviously you'll have to use a keyboard and you'll have to use your mouse. And then even when you do that, you still have a tiny screen. So technically it's a mini PC, but it's also a mini PC. But that's a tiny headache because how often will you actually want to do work like that in a coffee shop? Mostly when you go to the office, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna have a screen always there with a little HDMI cable that you just plug in. You'll have your keyboard and your mouse. That's what they usually do with laptops. So that's what makes me think I can pull it off. I could just use my lovely MSI Claw as a mini PC does everything I need to. There's nothing it can't do. The only thing it might be challenged at is video editing. Or is it a challenge? Because CapCut is available. It's full Windows, so it could do everything my heart desires. Let me go and open CapCut for us. I'll be back. Yeah, you can edit videos on it as well. This is CapCut, and on this screen it's a little bit tiny, but I mean, it's really well working here. This journey has not been easy. That's so crazy. So it does everything I needed to do and it's way smaller than a laptop. I don't know, it sounds like a good idea to me to use this as like a mini PC. Even just comparing cool factor between rocking up to like a place with friends and playing some music, the cool factor of the MSI Claw is way better than rocking up with a laptop, am I right? But the specs, that's the actual thing we're interested in. Can this thing keep up with the Lenovo? Let's test it out. Let's run some benchmarks. Let's actually see whether it's possible because we know, let's discuss this in the studio. The stats between the two is identical. I mean, it's 512 gigabytes of storage, 512 gigabytes of storage. It's 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's a Core Ultra 7. It's a Core Ultra 7. It doesn't have a built-in graphics card, but gameplay on this is by no means not nice. It's exceptional. It's really, really good. When you connect it to a massive screen, you will notice it running hotter and obviously it won't be able to keep up with something like a massive PC. But in the whole regards of a mini PC, this thing becoming your let's not work from home or let's work at a mobile station, there is no real difference between a laptop and this. It's actually quite shocking where the world has come to. The mobile space is becoming really impressive. If you're doing something like Excel, for example, even video editing like I just showed you, the MSI Claw does it all and it does it quite well if you connect a keyboard and a mouse if you're on the go. So this is like having one of those little Intel NUC PCs in your pocket. It's, it's the same thing, just this time you can actually game with it and it has a screen. Am I the biggest fan of these mobile devices? Eh. Would I buy a laptop for gaming? You see, that's where it becomes quite like touch and go because if you buy a proper laptop for gaming, you could, but it gets really hot and loud. All of them, there isn't a single laptop on the market that when you game, they're not hot and loud. So my obvious opinion is go for a PC or go for a handheld device like this. Laptops will do the trick. But if you can and you want to be a hardcore gamer, PCs or handheld devices like this is the way to go. That's my opinion. You can get your own Calor, which is basically a mini PC on the FMB app right now for only 599 Rand. That's a pretty good idea. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you got to learn something about the differences between a laptop and this. And if you're picking up one of these, click the link in the description below. I'll find the cheapest version possible and also some accessories if you're looking for it. See you in the next video. Cheers, bye. Oh, remember to watch this video. That's a good video to watch. Promise, you'll like it. YouTube thinks so. The algorithm literally selected this video just for you.